Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be going over some differences between Langchain and Llama Index because I hear a lot of questions around which one should I start with, which one should I use first, what's better for my use case. And so I'm going to give you a high level overview from my perspective and my experiences and from doing a little bit of research and digging and seeing what other people are saying as well. So you don't have to do it. So let's get into it. So first we'll kind of go over how I broke up some of the key differences and how I kind of think about it. So the first one is uh, scope and scope you can think of as just your general use case. What do you need it for? So if you are starting a new project, you want to get it up and going fast, you're not really, really sure what you're going to need yet, and you just need things to work and put different LLMs together and experiment, I would highly recommend starting with Langchain. To me, it has always felt a bit more intuitive to start. LAM Index has always felt a bit higher up on the, uh, the learning curve. However, I will say to their credit, they are making massive leaps and bounds to simplify the interface and make it easier for other people to actually get started faster. So for now, at the time of recording this video, I would still recommend Langchain as the main uh, place to start if you're trying to get a project off the ground. If you know what your project needs and you know that you're going to need special sort of memory management, maybe you have information across different topics and you want to structure that in a certain way for querying information from those indices, I would recommend starting with Llama Index because Llama Index has always been, in my mind, more focused on the querying of the actual data that you're going to need before you get the prompt and also finding information by synthesizing response based off of disparate uh, data sets. So you could decompose queries and do sub queries and synthesize a response in Llama Index. That is something that's not really out of the box in Langchain. So Llama Index is a bit higher up on the learning curve, but it has some pros for if you need to do some more fancy stuff with your index management. The next thing that I was looking at was the interface of Langchain and Llama Index. So I will say until <laughs> I record this video, um, Langchain has always felt a bit easier in terms of interface. You have like an instance of an LLM wrapper and we can actually just go look. So like if you just go to, like for example, you have things like ch chat open AI, you instantiate it and you pass in all of the things you need and then you just call it. LAM index, I will say now, is starting to support that. So in one of their most recent updates, they talk a lot about right here, what they're launching in their newest version. And some of the things I'm excited about are standalone LLM abstractions and you can see what that means right here. So why are they doing this? Again, they want cleaner abstractions for the code base. Before it was like this LLM predictor, a lot of leaky abstractions underlying the Langchain LLM class. So it made their abstractions hard to reason about. I can 100% agree with this. When uh, Llama Index was first starting, especially, you know, shout out Jerry, I really like what you're doing. The documentation was a bit sparse. It was a bit, I think the community was just uh, still too new at the at that point as well. Uh, compared to Langchain, Langchain has a much larger uh, developer base, I would say, or at least I see more people have an affinity towards Langchain. And I think that's starting to even out over time. I think Llama Index has started to build their own community. They are they just raised their Series A or seed for uh, like eight million or something like that. So they're starting to become more robust themselves. So I would definitely keep an eye on them for simpler interfaces. But again, for now, we're going to say, if you just want to get started, go with Langchain. If you think you're up for a bit of a higher learning curve, getting through the documentation a bit more, and probably running into a bit more problems, maybe start with Llama Index. But that's just my opinion at this point in time. Uh, the next one is storage and indexing. So if you use Llama Index, you'll know that they were made for that kind of purpose. They were made to synthesize queries and route queries to different indices of different data 
and also decompose initial queries and do subqueries to synthesize a response. So it would say like, for example, uh, what's the difference between sports of Houston and Boston? You can break up the query, then it has two mini queries that are saying, you know, what are sports like in Austin or in Boston? What are sports like in Dallas or whatever I said? And find the answer to those two things, come back to the initial answer with the new information, answer again, and then put out the response. So that's what I've really found very cool about uh, Llama Index. So I guess like high level, um, just like thinking of it now, Llama Index I would use for most things if you're trying to go deep in chatting with your data because you're able to uh, have more flexibility with how you build your memory uh, for your chatbot or for your large language model. Like the architecture is not uh, set in one particular way. You can have a list index and llama index and then compose a graph index over top and the list index could each have a vector index of different data so that's just an example i think there's a tutorial you can look up on llama indexes documentation as well where they go over how to build a chatbot and compose a graph over uh, several indices and so i would highly recommend checking that out to get a better understanding about what i'm talking about the next thing is going to be querying and again uh, for Langchain, this might be more of its, not its strong suit, but it's it does fine. So it's more generic. Uh, they use the retriever paradigm. So a lot of these, a lot of the ways that Langchain will query for data is they just have you build retrievers for vector stores. And on the other hand, with Llama Index, like I said, you can have you know a priori query routing. So before you know what you need to get. The, the, the response synthesis engine they have helps you figure out where you should be routing your queries to. And so for querying, I would say Llama Index is a bit stronger on that side. However, Langchain still provides enough options that I think it is good to get started on Langchain. And so just a couple of takeaways that I had for myself, it's like composable, yes, Llama Index is getting there. I think it's going to, I'm actually, very scared for what's going to happen when Llama Index is as easy to use as Langchain because Llama Index already has a lot of very powerful features. It's just very hard to um, uh, learn how to use it at the current state, I would say, uh, for for a beginner. Next one is easy to get started. Langchain, I would say, very easy to get started. Tons of examples, more of a developer community, more people talking about how to use Langchain on YouTube and things like this, you know, like example, exhibit A, um, and flexible. So you can compose different agents together, like you could have a search a search agent and you could have it, or you could have an agent with like a search tool and a math tool and you could load up all these tools in an agent and just go as far as you want. Um, I would say Llama Index is composable more on the memory structure side. They haven't focused as much on like the actual simplicity of the interface as much as Langchain, but they are still getting there. So all that to say at a high level, if you're deciding whether you want to use Langchain or Llama Index, I would highly recommend if you're a beginner in coding or you're a beginner in using one of these frameworks or you don't know what you want to do with your project yet, I would just try Langchain first. Langchain is simpler in my experience and you're probably more likely to run into a problem that others have already run into in the community versus Llama Index at this point. So. For that reason, I'm gonna say, start with Langchain if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you do know what you're doing, then you're probably not watching the video and maybe you should use Llama Index, maybe you should, you should use Langchain, but you probably know. So with that being said, that is it for the video. If you'd like to see a more in-depth video about this, let me know because this is definitely not an extensive overview and we could definitely get into the nitty gritty if we want to. Um, but for now, I just wanted to kind of clear the air and put down my foot on uh, or put my thoughts down on where I think uh, you could start when you are developing with large language models. So leave a like, leave a comment, hate comments, love comments, hate comments, I love them all, and subscribe. There's no outro, so uh, goodbye.